Hi, my name is Mark Poulton. I'm a real estate investor in the greater Charlotte, North Carolina area, which you would call a no frills, no thrills real estate investor. You're looking for somebody who's got a uh, big fancy car in the background or a nice shiny studio office or even somebody who's trying to sell you a $19.95 a month subscription to their newsletter. I'm not that guy. Check out a different channel. So I wanted to uh, talk about something that I find very peculiar and it's a great myth that seems to be absolutely pervasive in our society and that is that an education will equal a good job or even wealth and by this I mean a college education it's amazing my wife is a registered nurse and she works with people who are gonna go back and get their master's degree or their PhD or they're gonna get something else and they're going to spend a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a, and a lot of money trying to... Sorry, it's a little cold. I've been working outside. And uh, for probably not a whole lot of benefit because they don't know anything else to do. They think that, hey, if I just go back to school and I get my master's degree, I'll be able to make more money. And that was true for my parents' generation. When my folks, uh, I'm 45, they're in their 70s, when they were growing up, you know, a college education after the Great Depression meant that you would have a good job. But it also meant that you could work for a place for 20 to 25 years, get a pension and a gold watch, and you wouldn't have to worry about money again. Those days are over. They're, they're, they don't exist anymore. Maybe in the public sector or, um, you know, the public sector unions or government jobs or something like that. Maybe there, but they don't exist for, uh, for the average person. And even then, there's no guarantee. If you look at CalPERS, which is California's uh, pension program, they are so underfunded and they are so underwater, it's not even funny. People have gained the system and there's just not, there, there, there isn't enough money for them to pay out. And there's gonna be a day of reckoning on it. I was listening to Dave Ramsey last night with my wife on the way to the gym. And I didn't, I didn't catch everything. It was, uh, she was trying to talk to me and I was trying to listen, which, uh, you know, is not always a good combination. But this guy called in and he had $500,000 in uh, student loans. And, you know, he's a doctor. He's probably spent at least eight years uh, in the school, which, God, I mean, it sounds like I'd, I'd rather eat a bullet than do that. Um, he's going to make about 180 grand, which is good money. Um, no. By no means is it poor. Granted, his insurance bill is probably 30 or 40 grand a year. Easy for malpractice insurance. But, uh, you know, he's got this humongous boulder. It's almost like Atlas lifting, lifting the, up the world. You know, he's got this crushing weight of debt, $500,000 in debt. And, of course, Dave Ramsey, you know, his plan, this guy's plan is to live off of thirty-five or $40,000 a year and put the rest towards his student loan bills. Now I suspect, because he's just a general practitioner and not a neurosurgeon, that he probably defaulted on his loans a few times. There are probably more in the two fifty dollars to $300,000 range, but with fees and defaults, uh, penalties and stuff like that, you know, it's now $500,000. He said he made some bad decisions. So imagine working or going to school for eight years. Uh, busting your butt, really having to study, stuff like that, to come, just to come out on the opposite side and having to eat rice and beans for five or six years uh, just to try to pay off your student loan debt. I, I just, words, I can't even think of words to describe how miserable that must feel. You know, because you're expecting to, you know, drive a Mercedes That's what, or a BMW. That's what you... That's what you equate with being a doctor, is you know, some sense of wealth, some sense of being in the upper class. And that's just not, uh, not for this guy. This guy is crazy. There's also a, a common misconception of a college education somehow equates to intelligence. And I gotta tell you, I don't see it. I, I don't see today's college educated people, I don't even see today's professors of having much intelligence at all. Yeah, they might be able to be a grammar Nazi and tell me that, you know, hey, I have a dangling participle or, you know, my punctuation is wrong on my, on my sentences and stuff. But 
That's not intelligence. That's being a grammar Nazi. And that's, nobody gets paid for doing that. In my book, intelligence has to do with being able to practically apply something in order to uh, better your life and make more money. And I, I just don't see the, the value in today's college education as far as leading to intelligence. In fact, I would say in a lot of respects, it retards your intelligence because on today's campuses, you cannot speak your mind and you're not getting a diversified view of the world or opinions and stuff like that. You're only getting basically the left-leaning view on most colleges. And we have trigger warnings and safe spaces and stuff like that. That's not intelligence. That's not setting you up uh, for the future. And we had a, I worked with a, a guy in Mensa. And I think I could probably qualify for that, though I don't want to. It seems like it would be like, you know, one of the most boring places to meet a bunch of nerds. However, could be wrong. Probably am. And I worked for him, and he was a project manager slash coder, computer guy, and highly intelligent um, as far as, you know, his IQ score and stuff like that. But he would get overwhelmed with input on stuff that he couldn't agree. And this is a grown man, probably in his 30s, maybe in his 40s. He'd put his hands over his ears, yell, say, no, 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 while jumping up and down like a little kid. You're like... What? What is going on here? I don't. I don't get it. And uh, I, I just. I don't. And we would have different discussions, and and the guy is, by all means, smart. I mean, he's intelligent, but he doesn't have intelligence. He was certainly socially retarded. Of course, I was socially retarded back then as well. But you know, to get back to um, the value of a college education. Today's college graduates are graduating with an almost worthless degree, 50 plus thousand dollars in debt, on a loan that they can't get rid of. You know, you can't file bankruptcy and get rid of a student loan. You know, my kids and my wife's kids don't understand what I'm like, I am not co-signing a student loan for you. There's no way that's going to happen because it cannot be discharged in any other way that, but for you to die or two, for you to pay it off. And I'm not going to be responsible, and you're not going to you're not going to burden and hamstring me because you want to go out and get a college degree. That I mean, let's face it, we see people with college degrees being baristas at Starbucks. I mean, did you go into college thinking, "Hey, I'm going to work at a Starbucks after I get a four-year degree"? I doubt it. I, I mean, I would think that you're going to uh, go to college so that you can come out and get a good job. But that's just not the way the world works. And in fact, I tell my kids that you're wasting four years of valuable work experience that will lead to wisdom, right? Not a whole lot in your first four years, but you know, you're starting, if you're waiting until after you graduate to go into the workforce, you're losing out on four extremely valuable years. You know, in four years in the buy and hold market, if you do it right and you have enough motivation, you can retire. And depending on where we are in the in the market cycle, you could definitely retire. I mean, if you started this, if you started college in, uh, we'll say 2009, well, by 2013, when you graduate, well, all, I, knowing what I know now, could have probably had over 100 properties and been re retired have a few money, not have to work. You would have been coming out in 2013 when everything is starting to appreciate and go up in prices massively. All the good, easy deals are gone. So, you know, keep that and bear that in mind. I'm not saying don't get a college education. Well, I'm actually telling my kids not to. Unless, I mean, caveat, you want to be a doctor? You want to be a doctor, a lawyer, or a nurse? You don't have a choice. You have to go to college. Except for those things, I don't see a huge value in a college education. Come out, if you really want a college education, why not go out, get some experience, find a company who will pay for it, take it at night. I end up getting a four-year degree online. Um, for the most part, it was a joke. Uh, I had already had 10 years experience in IT, and I'm not going to sit there and say I didn't learn something. I actually learned some stuff about databases that I didn't know kind of cool, not really what I want to do. However, 
I got the same degree, the same piece of paper as somebody who actually went four years. I did it in, um, I did the last two years online in 11 months. Um, like I said, it was a joke. I just, I don't see the value in a college education. Personally, as a computer guy and an entrepreneur, I don't care what you, what your credentials are. I want to know what you can do for me. What do you bring to the table? Anyways, these are my thoughts on uh, college degrees. What are your thoughts? Leave your uh, comments and your thoughts and comments in the comments section below. I'm uh, definitely interested to see your perspective on this. Hope you go out and live the "You Won't Stop Me" lifestyle. I can tell you the entire purpose of the "You Don't Stop Me" lifestyle is to gain the knowledge and the wisdom and the intelligence to be able to go out and buy income-producing assets, such that whatever catastrophe happens to you in your life, you know, for me it was a divorce where all the money's gone and all the assets are gone, you still have the intelligence to go out and get it all back again. You're not going to stop me. Anyways, I wish you success.